Hello, boys and girls. Today for lesson five, we're going to be using some of these tools that geologists use to study rocks to actually begin taking apart our mock rock. Okay, so we have our measuring tape. We have our hand lens. We have our safety goggles. We have our pick. Okay, and we have our science notebook. Okay. And mine is just a page, but yours, um, you can turn to this page in your notebook, okay? All right, so I'm going to turn this down. So I'm going to put my goggles on, and then we're going to get to work, okay? Take a look here at what we have. We have our mock rock, okay? And we are going to begin taking apart our mock rock, okay? And, and I'm going to... If you can see the importance of having the goggles on because I am digging and digging and digging away, okay, at this mock rock. Notice how easily it is coming apart, okay? So that would be an amazing um, observation that you could write down in your notebook, okay? Let's see. I'm going to get way on down here, and I'm going to just pick away, okay? I'm just picking away. See how easily it's coming apart. Okay, keep picking at it. And I want to keep picking and picking and picking and picking until I can start separating these things into little groups. And look at that. Friends, look how soft this mock rock is. This man-made mock rock. Oh, my goodness. Let's see here. There we go. Okay. Taking it apart, that mock rock. Whoa, got to watch exactly why we have the goggles on because that uh, little thing just flew across my room. All right, so we're going to continue to use our pick. We can also use our fingers because it's soft enough to do so, okay? And as we do this, okay, let me get my, my hand lens here. So I'm going to look real closely and see what is this? material here. Oh, look at that. I think you can see that. What does that look like? If you said sand, you are right on. Okay, there is definitely some sand there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put apart all of my, all of this red stuff. Okay, it's going to be on one side and all of the green stuff is going to be on the other. And I'm going to keep taking it apart. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Let me see if I can get a good magnified view of that right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Boys and girls, what do you think that is? It's some kind of a shell, isn't it? Where do we find shells? Where do we find shells? If you guess the beach, you're right. We find shells at the beach. Okay, so that means, and where else do we find sand? At the beach, okay? So I'm going to take a few minutes to go through here, and just like you're going to do if you have your mock rock in front of you, and you're going to continue to pick it apart, okay? And you're going to continue to sort of spread it into different sections all over your plate. So I'm going to have my, my shell over here. I'm going to have my red stuff here. I'm going to have my my green stuff, start putting that all together. Looks like I have light green and dark green, okay? And then all my sand, I'm gonna try to loop into another area as well, okay? And this can take a while to separate everything, but you should be able to clearly, clearly see, boys and girls, okay, that there is sand, okay? There are these little red and green looking rocks. And I'll give you a hint as to where you can find them. Let's see here. I'm thinking of Nemo swimming in a little aquarium. Oh, you named it. Gravel. This is green gravel. Then this must be red gravel. Okay. And then we said we had a shell and we had sand. So with that being said, I'm going to take a moment. And right here on my mock rock sheet, where it says observations about taking apart rocks with a pick, okay, 
um, you're going to write some of the things that you notice, some of the things that I just talked about. And you can rewind this video to go back and look at that if you need some help. But I do recall saying that it was soft, easy to break, and that there were a number of different ingredients, okay, or minerals inside of our mock rock. Okay. And then at the very bottom of the paper, it says, I have evidence to show the mock rocks contain these minerals or these ingredients. Well, we already know we said green gravel, red gravel. We said some shells, and this is definitely sand. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and fill out your mock rocks page. And if you could upload it in a video about um, something that you may have enjoyed either watching or doing um, as we took apart the mock rock, that would be amazing. And I'll see you in our next lesson.